um, to a dispute that's arisen uh, between uh, members of the Pharmaceutical Society and also the Irish Heart Foundation's Nutritional Council. Uh, the Irish Pharmacy Union has strongly disputed a claim by the Heart Foundation that pharmacists are in danger of encouraging a cycle of failure in people attempting to manage their weight by selling over-the-counter meal replacement products. Uh, we're going to hear uh, presently from their Vice President Rory O'Donnell, but let's hear first from Professor Donald O'Shea, Chair of the Irish Heart Foundation's Nutritional Council. Thank you both for coming on the line. First of all, um, Professor O'Shea, what exactly is your concern about what's going on in the pharmacies? Uh, well, my, uh, my concern around th this issue is uh, that um, the pharmacies are promoting uh, low-calorie meal replacements uh, as an aid to weight loss when all the evidence is now becoming, uh, you know, almost overwhelming that these work only for a very, very tiny minority of uh, individuals and that for the vast majority they give you rapid weight loss followed by um, regain and often overshoot so that you end up bigger than you are. So when you lose the weight, you say, you're, when you're losing it, you say, this is great, you tell your friends. They go in pyramid style, uh, start it off. Uh, and by the time you put on the weight and overshoot, you're mortified. You feel, oh, my God, I failed again. And it's that cycle of failure that is a common feature of patients who present to uh, our clinic in, in Lockdownstown. What do you think the pharmacists should do then? Well, I, I think, um, you know, pharmacists are, are, are playing, uh, and I, I'm a huge fan of, of their industry. They're playing a, an increasing role in healthcare delivery. And I think with that comes responsibility so that where the evidence isn't there, they shouldn't be actively promoting. So the posters should come down. If a patient comes and asks them about weight, they should discuss it. But having it in your face when there really isn't the evidence to back it up isn't a good idea. And meal replacement really should be a bowl of soup and a piece of fruit for your lunch instead of the sandwich. It doesn't have to be an expensive over-the-counter preparation. Okay, let's go to Rory O'Donnell, Vice President of the Irish Pharmacy Union. Uh, I think uh, Dr. O'Shea is paraphrasing Ronald Reagan tear down these posters <laughs> I would, in all fairness we would agree very strongly with most of what uh, Professor o o O'Shea and the Irish Heart Foundation have, have released that primarily the most important way and the most uh, the best way of, of losing weight uh, is, is through healthy diet and exercise and we've, uh, we in, in pharmacy and in the IPU have supported that uh, for, for, for many years through uh, our contacts indeed with the Irish Heart Foundation uh, the very last part of the statement actually uh, talks about very low calorie diets as well and encouraging that, a cycle of failure no we, we, we would dispute that pharmacists are healthcare professionals just like doctors and just like dietitians and uh, patients who, who enter the pharmacy will be advised appropriately they will be screened and uh, an appropriate uh, uh, weight loss mechanism will be, will be found for them and he, uh, Professor O'Shea is quite right very low calorie diets or meal replacements are not for everybody yeah but would you have come across or would you know of any instances where uh, one of your members would discourage a person who had come to the counter uh, with a box of these provisions or uh, these um, supplements uh, and say, look, that really mightn't be for you. Absolutely. That's, that's exactly the role of the pharmacist. And do you think that actually happens? Yes, it, indeed it does happen and it happens very frequently. Uh, patients enter the pharmacy for health care advice and they receive such health care advice day in, day out from their pharmacist. Okay, well, what do you think, Conor O'Shea? Are you, um, um, are you, sorry, Donald, I beg your pardon. Uh, are, are, you, are you in any way reassured? Yeah, I'm increasingly confused with my brother on that. Uh, the, the, um, I mean, when somebody walks uh, into, into the pharmacy, uh, they, uh, you know, the meal replacement will work in a tiny percentage of patients. So to be actively promoting it when we know that it works for a tiny minority is to be offering something to people uh, that fundamentally you know isn't going to work for the majority. And uh, I, I think that in the, if you like, the new position that, that pharmacies uh, find themselves actively delivering health care and increasingly delivering health care, they have to go with the evidence and, and promote the sustained lifestyle changes that will lead to long-term weight loss because 
these approaches really only lead to a little bit of extra short-term weight loss and then you're back to where you were or above it. Okay, last word, Rory O'Donnell. What about those posters? Should they not be taken down? It depends on what posters you're talking about, to be quite honest. Um, pharmacies, I, th- I would take exception with, 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 the, with, with the view that pharmacies are actively promoting well, something. But are you saying, uh, would you conce- uh, concede that there are some posters that maybe should be taken down? I haven't seen all the posters. I'm not quite sure what posters that Professor O'Shea is, is talking about. Well, let's about. go back and ask him very briefly. Yeah, there was a particular campaign. What pricked this in me was, was the, uh, the current Lipitrim campaign uh, because our clinic is, is full of patients who've repeatedly failed on Lipitrim and it uh, except in a very small percentage of patients and it's not sustainable and it shouldn't be promoted. Okay, R- R- my, my understanding is that there is, there, that there is quite, quite substantial evidence out there as well from NICE and from various clinical organisations around the world that in certain cases that very low calorie diets are appropriate and, and, and certainly that is what I would be saying. But not there, I agree with Professor Roche, they are not for everybody nor is pharmacy saying that they are. In, in, but it's in certain cases and a small percentage followed as a very rigorous clinical trial over a period of 12 months and even then even in the clinical trial setting the patients regain weight and are back up to where the people on diet and exercise were Okay, yeah. we're going to trim it all there uh, Professor, uh, Professor sorry, um, Donald O'Shea and uh, Rory O'Donnell, Vice President of the Irish Pharmacy Union thank you both for joining us uh,